If someone tells you there's no God, pick this video and show the person there is God. I am an example of what God cannot do does not exist. This was my before and now. Yeah, it was my before and now. I keep taking my walking videos for a purpose, purpose of reference to see how to show you how my journey is going and this is it this is me and this is me walking majestically yeah. this is me yeah i seen violets oh and this is me just feeling myself yeah still walking see my legs Compare the first video to this one. The first one was bending, right? And now I'm walking very straight. You can see the difference for yourself. What God cannot do the second does not exist. Yes, it does not. And this is me walking majestically. My leg don't strong for ground way way. Like I'm walking very comfortably here. Yeah, without stress and feeling I'm not even feeling joint pains like usual. Okay, this video is not actually for everyone, but I'm making this video for those who need to see it, those who need to know, yes, God exists. Um, an example of, yes, God exists, my life is an example of God exists, because every day of my life, it's a testimony, even breathing, waking up every day is a testimony, so an example of what God cannot do does not exist. You can see my walking steps how it started and how i'm going now like i'm very happy i keep memories of these things for a purpose for those of you who are uh, some of you coming to me that you have um some said scleroderma as well some said they're only noticing they have something similar to what i have and they're coming to me and what did i do what exactly am i taking for my healing process. I'm not doing anything different from what you might be doing. I'm seeing a doctor, yes. I'm taking my normal medications for management, yes. But something I'm doing that keeps me going. Over, for weeks now, I haven't done it, but what I usually do, I do my regular exercise. Yes, it helps a lot. It's, one of the things that helps my joints is those exercises, like, they really helped me a whole lot. And again, happiness. I don't let anything bother me. I don't let this so-called scleroderma bother me. I just do what I like. I just do what I like. Go to where I want to go to. Yes, I'm human, so I do everything human I feel like doing. As long as my strength can carry me to, I do it. Because if I sit in one place, the more I sit, the more it gets worse. The more I sit, the more it gets worse. So I would advise if you are going through any health issue, you should not be sitting in one place. Because the more you sit, the more your health issue increases. Yes. Like, notice this if you're having fever and you keep sleeping every time, every time, every evening. You go weak every day. You go weak like... It's as if the treatment you are taking is not working. No, it's because you're always sleeping. Because you're always lying down for the sickness. That, that. So stress the sickness some more. Like stress yourself a bit. So that those blood vessels and everything will be moving. The secret of this is just happiness. And Why worry about the things you can't control? Why worry about sickness you did not cause by yourself? It came on its own. And God knows why. So live your life. Forget about what people will say. Do what you want to do. Live your life as long as you're not doing anything bad. Just keep living your life. Live your best life. This life, hush. Just live your life to the fullest. You have just one life to live. Don't let sadness take over this one life you have. Just be happy. And always keep a positive mindset. Forget just anything that will bring negative mindset to you. Like... Try to avoid things that bring negativity to you. Always keep a positive mindset and tell yourself you are it. And tell yourself you are you. You are unique. Yes, that's the spirit. That will keep you going. That will strengthen you. 
and also and also remember to always call God. He should be your best friend. Yes, he should. Bye.